In a week's time, the nation will come together on Armistice Day, honouring those who have served this country. At six locations across the country, fields of remembrance pay tribute to all those who have lost their lives in conflict from the First World War to the present day. In a special service this week, accompanied by a flypast, the National Memorial Arboretum's field opened to the public. More than 15,000 crosses and commemorative markers have been planted at the Arboretum, and Director of Remembrance at the Royal British Legion, Philippa Rawlinson, says the field is about coming together. I think the coming together of so many tributes, just is, especially here at the National Memorial Arboretum, where they're planted together in a giant phenomenal, as you can see behind us, poppy, it really, really reinforces the symbolism of remembering together the RBL's red poppy, bringing us together and uniting us in remembering those who have served our country, lost their lives and also us coming together to hope for a peaceful future. The Field of Remembrance at the National Memorial Arboretum is an important part of the Royal British Legion's history, continuing a tradition that began in 1928 when poppies were planted around an original wooden cross taken from the battlefield grave of an unknown British soldier in the grounds of Westminster Abbey. Mark Smith served with the Royal Artillery and the Intelligence Corps. He says seeing support every year for the poppy appeal fills him with gratitude. I feel immensely grateful, I really do. As a, as a veteran, as an injured veteran, and somebody who knows the reason why we do what we do for the poppy appeal, to see the public support is humbling and it's wonderful. And it's great to know that they're not only thinking about those that have gone before us, but those that are still around and those that are still yet to come. John Parks is an army veteran who served in the 3rd Staffordshire Regiment between 1991 and 1994. At the height of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, John developed a condition called Charcot Foot Syndrome, a deterioration of bones and soft tissue in the foot. John says support from the British Legion was invaluable to his recovery. When I was diagnosed with this Charcot Foot, I was told I, I couldn't walk on it and I wasn't allowed to walk on it, I couldn't work. Uh, so we were living on £97 a week sick pay and we just couldn't live, we couldn't pay the bills. Uh, the Royal British Legion got in contact and they said um, a lady called um, Caroline Quinn from the local office in Birmingham and she says uh, you need help. 2021 I, ended, I had to have my leg amputated which was absolutely catastrophic and the British Legion were there to, to, to pick up the pieces and help us, and they helped us tremendously. If it hadn't been for Caroline and the British Legion, I wouldn't be here today to tell, to tell the story. The Fields of Remembrance are also located in London, Cardiff, Belfast, Gateshead and Swindon, with more than 55,000 tributes planted in total, a poignant reminder of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Jack Carson, GB News. Staffordshire.